Welcome boys and girls. It's great to see you again. Again, we are not in our Sunday school room. We are at my house and we're going to have our Sunday school lesson. Miss Pam is going to bring that to us in just a few minutes and we're going to do it right here. So before we begin, let's begin with a word of prayer, please. Dear Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for taking care of us. We thank you that you sent your son Jesus to be our savior. Help us to obey you, help us to do what is right, and help us to learn from the Bible. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, up on the board we have Mary and the angel. And if you guys remember, last week we talked about how the angel told Mary that she was going to have a baby and that the angel told Mary that they should name the baby Jesus. Now today we're going to talk a little bit more about the name Jesus and also who else Gabriel talked to. So my first question for you, or I guess it's a statement. The angel told Mary that they were supposed to name Jesus, Jesus. Now, how do you, how do parents these days name their children? Sometimes they might name their children because they like the way the name sounds, or they might like the, the meaning of the name. So sometimes parents name their kids after somebody like your grandma or your grandpa, maybe a favorite aunt or something, but there are different reasons the parents name their children a certain thing. Do any of you guys know why your parents named you what they named you? My parents, I think, I, for, I didn't ask my mom, but I think they named me because they knew somebody whose name was Pamela, which is my full name, and they liked the name and they liked the person, so they, called, they named me Pamela. My middle name is both of my grandma's middle names. So they named me after someone they liked and also after someone from our family. So both my middle name is after my, both my grandmas. Mrs. Niedermeyer, do you know why your parents named you? Mrs. Niedermeyer's first name is Dawn. So do you know why your parents named you Dawn? They just liked the name. They didn't know anybody named Dawn and they just liked the name. So, so there are different reasons that people name their kids what they name them. And as we learned last week, the angel told Mary what she was supposed to name Jesus. Uh, I looked up, I don't know if, again, I don't know why your parents named you the, the names that they gave you, and I don't know if you know what your names mean, but I looked up everybody's name, and here's the list. And it's interesting because the first three all have to do with God. So Isaiah... Your name means God is salvation. And Joanna, your name means God is gracious. And I know I call Joelle Ellie, but her real name is Joelle. And that means God will be willing. Now, Jaden, yours is a little interesting because yours is two names put together. J, which means a bird in the crow family. And Aiden, which means little fire. So... That's just a, a mashup kind of name. And Mariah, there, some names have more than one meaning, and one of the meanings for your name is from the sea. So all of everybody has a meaning for their name, and Jesus has a meaning for his name as well, which we will get to a little bit later. So again, we're talking about Christmas, and we're talking about the real reason that we celebrate Christmas, and that is because Jesus was born. And last week we talked about his mom, who was Mary, and the fact that um, Gabriel came and talked to her and told her that she was going to have a baby, even though she wasn't married, but she was going to have a baby and she should call his name Jesus. And God wanted Joseph, who's the, who's the man that Mary was engaged to, God wanted Joseph to understand what was going on as well. So... What happened was, one night, God sent an angel to talk to Joseph, and it was the same angel. Now, how many of you guys dream? Do you dream? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you remember your dreams when you wake up in the morning? Sometimes. Okay. I remember parts of them. Okay. I'm sure I dream, but I don't usually remember anything that I've dreamt about. Hmm. But this was a special dream, and Joseph was definitely going to remember 
what the dream was about. So Joseph is sleeping. God sends Gabriel. And um, if you could read Matthew 1, 20, no, actually, I'm going to read Matthew 1, 20. It talks about how the Lord sent an angel to um, appear, appear to Joseph in a dream. And it says, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because the baby that she will have is from the Holy Spirit. So again, God wanted Joseph to understand that what was happening was from God and was what God wanted to happen. So the angel was saying, a miracle is going to happen because Mary's going to have a baby and you guys aren't married yet. Can you read Matthew 121? And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Now, doesn't that sort of sound the same as what Gabriel told Joseph? Uh, sorry, told Mary. Didn't Gabriel tell Mary that she was supposed to name the baby Jesus? So Gabriel was telling Joseph the exact same thing. You guys need to name this baby Jesus because, did you hear what the verse said? Because he will save his people from their sins. Jesus was going to come. His name means what his job was going to be. And his name means Savior. Which I think I put here. Yeah. So Jesus' Jesus' name right here means Savior. And the Bible verse said he'll save your he'll, he will save his people from their sins. What does a savior do? What what does the first part of, part of that verse or that word sound like? Sounds like the word save. So a savior is somebody who saves other people or could be a savior of animals. I mean, if you go and rescue animals, you could be the animals, not Jesus savior, but someone who saves other people from something. And Jesus was going to save his people from their sins. So, again, the reason why the reason why God sent Gabriel to talk to Joseph is because he, God wanted Joseph to know everything's fine. Everything's going to be okay. Everything that's happening is exactly what I want to happen, and it's happening the exact way I want it to happen. So, uh, could you read, the Bible also then tells what happened next. Could you read Matthew 124? Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. Okay, so Joseph woke up from his sleep and he remembered what his dream was. And he went and he took Mary as his wife. He did exactly what God had told him to do. And he... So he did what God wanted him to do. He obeyed. He trusted what God told him. And they became um, like husband and wife. And then uh, my question is, do, how do you think Joseph and Mary felt? Now, both of them had, both of them had been visited by an angel, which is cool and different. They both got the same message that Mary was going to have a baby, that it's the son of God, that they needed to name the baby Jesus, and that Jesus was going to save his people from their sins. He was going to be his savior. How do you think they felt about being part of a, a plan like that? Last last week, Mrs. Niermeyer said that Mary said that she was willing to do what God wanted her to do. Joseph did what God wanted him to do. They were probably very excited that they were the people chosen to have and raise Jesus, who's going to be the Messiah. They had, they had heard or read about this, like Mrs. Niermeyer said, as they were growing up. They knew that a Messiah was coming. So they were probably very excited to be a part of what was going to happen. So they did and they followed exactly what, what God told them to do. Now, that's where our story ends today. Next week, 
we will find out what happens next. Obviously, we know something that's going to happen because we know we celebrate Christmas. So we know that Jesus is going to be born, but we'll talk about what happens after, um, after Mary and Joseph are, are married and, and what happens uh, next in our story. So again, as Mrs. Niedermeyer mentioned last week, we enjoy Christmas. We enjoy the decorations, we enjoy the presents, we enjoy getting together with our family. But the most important thing is that we remember that Jesus was born and the whole purpose for him being born was to die for our sin, to pay for our, to pay for our sins so that we could be, be with God in heaven when we die. That was Jesus' whole reason for coming to earth and God loved us so much that that's what, that's what he did. He sent Jesus to die for us. So let's remember you guys it's fun to celebrate christmas and do all the fun things but we also need to remember why we really have christmas so let's bow our heads and close our eyes and um we'll be dismissed dear lord thank you again for christmas thank you for the reminder that we have that you loved us so much that you sent jesus to die for our sins help us to help us to enjoy this time but help us to be thankful to you for sending Jesus and help us, like Mary and Joseph, to be willing to obey and do what you want us to do. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So this is the Sunday before Christmas, so we would like to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. Have a happy Christmas with your family. Remember Jesus. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.